here, so. For the most part, you'd um, come here and you'd uh, sit down the bottom here. This used to be a fish pond, it had goldfish and stuff in it. My kids used to play in it. Oh, it's and you sit at the tables there and they play in the play area. And then uh, in winter, it was a lot less frequented because if you go through the actual rooms, you'll see how um, it was really confined. You know, because obviously a dwelling has been converted over the years, but this used to be the main doors. And then uh, there was little yeah. tables here. In winter, it was lacking because you had these fireplaces. Would you sit in here? Yeah, I mean, tables. Had, and it was, uh. very, it was a very big group, you know, it was very tight. And then you'd have the fire going, and there's little antique tables. And then uh, multiple kitchens and stuff like that for the serving areas. So all of these, each one of these would have like two or three tables in, and uh, oh. nice old wooden doors here. I wish I saw it before it burned down. Yeah, it was staying, and it had a, a, a thatch roof. <laughs> like yes, sir. Uh, just burnt out. So. And then these little room tables were um, toilets. Oh, okay. So they were the bathrooms you could go and um, obviously. No, I just, I don't know what it was, is what I'm thinking. Yeah. So they had the bathrooms up here. But this looks old, like the building. Yeah, the buildings were old. Um, there was something else and then they converted Yeah, no, it was a heritage site. So I, I must find out what the history of it was before it was a, a restaurant. It was something, yeah, a storage area that they used, you know? Yeah, probably. There's been a lot of things in its lifetime, as you can see, with all the concrete and bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, that's about it. This was obviously built much later. Yeah, so we, um, we spent quite a bit of time there. Didn't find sarcophagus. So this, yeah. notoriously, even from a pilot viewpoint, Mowbray Ridge is very, very volatile for flying. And you can look at how stark it is there. <laughs> it's like a little chimney. It doesn't get a hell of a lot worse than this. One or two spots, but not that bad. No, it's not bad. Check at the fort from here. It's like, it starts looking dinky, eh? Hey. Hey. Oh. Wow. I've never seen it from this side. Yeah. That's what's amazing is you look, you can actually see both sides of the mountain at both places. on both sides. Yeah. Oh, there's a fire on there. Uh... Yeah. Another viewing point. Nice. Back off. Devils, because from knife's edge, 
up to Devils is, is a hard slog. And then the back end of it's going to take too long because you, you literally come back on the other side of this. Very. I know. Closed off. Yeah, but you can get him through the front. Just watch it, yeah. Okay. Feel this. Oh, oh. So they have raw footage. Well, there's always on a mountain a certain section where you really feel like, okay, I'm on the mountain. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I love it. Especially when you like, you look up and you just can't see anything except mountain. Yeah. There. In that little, in that little cliffy. Okay, check. Oh, there's a trail there as well. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> okay, so now this drop off is not so bad. But now, but when we drop off here, yeah, you're gonna see on the left. And we're actually lucky because normally, when it's pumping through here, you, you, you'll be like this. So this is really not bad and you'll see the drop off here is a good 150 200 meters yeah. they tend to knock you about it's not so much constant but bang yeah that's the way yeah Yeah, look through the crack. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Starts again. Starts again. And watch the person coming across, you know. Oops, look here where I'm standing now. I mean, it's like it's a long way down. Uh, catches you, eh? Yo, this part. I'm not looking down. <laughs> This is the sharpest part of the knife. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go on the hut. 
okay. But you'll see how scared I am in the footage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, roller skating, sorry. Yeah. I've got a, definitely got an ear thing going today. Is it? Yeah, I've got a pretty good sense, so I'm like this kind of feeling. Oh no. <laughs> it just leaves you unsettled there. Eh? Ah, uh, that works. I mean, it's not just too high altitude wise, but it's just very exposed from a weather point of view. From here, you know, there's not a kind of a spot they'd like to be. Yeah, you made it. You've never been here before, eh? No, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, you happy? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Third year, when I still had class, I always had to time. A lot of the times, I wouldn't have time for a hike, so I would squeeze in one in the morning. Yeah. And then, like and at eleven o'clock, it's like. <laughs> then it's like Yuck. half an hour left, and I'm almost at the bottom of the mountain, and <laughs> class is starting in half an hour. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> then I go sit all sweaty and yeah, yeah, yeah. exhausted in class. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if it's rainy and wintry, yeah, you probably just go into the castle. Yeah, probably. But I mean, the, it comes out at one of the castle um, drain combs. They actually lift it. Yeah. It's a big deal. But if you if you medically you'd realize how far he was actually compensating by the time I got you, you know, mm. and how how much in trouble he actually was. Yeah. Oh. 